All right, guys, I got like a little quick one today. Um, the rear hatch on my 350Z, like all 350Zs, it suffers from the same issue, you know, like it doesn't want to pop up. So you gotta like hit the button and hold, you know, like lift it up and all that good stuff. And even worse, like my, uh, my little button on the back don't work. So I gotta look into what that is. But this is just gonna be about installing like the Z1 hatch poppers. Uh, we're gonna see how that goes. Uh, my car doesn't have anything heavy on the back. So it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. But anyway, I'm just gonna get them stalled on there and we're gonna see how they work. So I got my key fob because that's the way I got to pop my hatch. But you can see, it doesn't want to open. So you gotta like, you know, basically this is the issue. If you got one hand free, you gotta like hold the button and so. And not that that's like a crazy big deal or something, but it is kind of irritating, so. Um, yeah, like I, said, I just picked up the one from Z1, which kind of hurt. These things are expensive. I was like, holy cow. But I tried like the little penny trick and stuff like that. It didn't work for my car. So I figured it'd be, it's worth the headache. They look cool though. They got the little, you know, what is it? I don't even know its name. The little Dino Zeno thing, whatever. So, <laughs> but all right. But in the kit, you get these two little O-rings. One has a hole in it. I don't know what that's about. But for some reason, the one that doesn't have a hole seems to work better for my car. So, just got to slide that guy over the end. Just like so. But you want to come over to your little trunk poppers or hatch poppers, whatever. And you select the little group, little notch right there. You just kind of want to turn that to the side. Mine's a little tight because the car's been painted right through here. And it just wiggles out. Throw that old guy away. And same thing, we just wanna, I wish they had a mark on these so you could see when you were like fully locked in. But just slide that guy in there and turn it to the side. All right, now that we got them installed on the hatch, let's give it a shot. All right, that's definitely working awesome and for an added bonus we got the front bumper clips which i've never even seen these on a car all the z's i've ever had i've never seen the little bumper clips to hold the front of the bumper so the guys that run right along here i've never seen those things so went and picked some up and we'll get these like clipped in real quick no big deal all right so these are the ones that z1 sells so i'm sure they're kind of different this might require two hands. So that guy's not lining up. Just good. All right. So this might be kind of like stupid to someone. Like, oh, that don't matter. Zip tie. I agree. But I want this car to be like the most complete, nice Z that it can be. <laughs> also got some new uh, fender bumper whatever you want to call it to go right here so we'll do that later if i ever take my front bumper off go ahead and toss not where i wanted it to go but whatever no, nothing nothing crazy guys i just wanted to do that make a video about it because uh, i couldn't find anything on those like rear hatch poppers it seemed to work pretty good so uh, no complaints I'm looking forward to not having to like fumble with my rear hatch anytime I'm putting something in the back of the car. <laughs> so, and uh, I'm gonna get the rear carpet in there. Like I said, uh, I kind of made videos of like, I just filled the, the like the spare tire area full of foam. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fill that full of like, put like a big thing of plastic down, fill it with foam and I'm gonna like flatten it just so it'll like hold the, the rear carpet and everything up. So I don't have to like mess with like having all the stuff under it and like the plastic falling in. So, but I'll show you guys that later in another video when it's completed. But for now, that's it. Just a quick one, but those rear hatch poppers, whatever, I guess it's worth the 60 bucks if you're tired of uh, your trunk not actually popping. So go check them out. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.